Hi everybody, my name is Nox and this is episode 26 already of Let's Talk with Some Random Guys and also the best and most awesome YouTuber in the world in high definition. Today is the 12th of February and our special guest is no one else than Monkey Farm. What's up? How's it going? Really good, and you? Uh, great. Uh, so you're kind of familiar because you're one of our oldest um, viewers of the show. I think you commented first on our second video where we interviewed Kelmir. It's a long time ago, I think three months or so. But yeah, we have kind of new questions, so let's get started. How did you get into Minecraft? Um, actually, it was it was on accident. I was watching some, uh, I think it was Black Ops videos of CNanners, and, uh, and I saw... He had a Minecraft video, and the first, you know, first time I saw it, I'm like, uh, "This is <laughs> kind of weird." Uh, <laughs> you know, it was like Legos, but I didn't really, I wasn't impressed at first. Uh, you know, just because the graphics and everything was square, but uh, you know, then I started seeing more videos about it, and um, just all of a sudden, I don't know, something clicked, and I wanted to. I wanted to start playing it. I think it was when I saw the creepers. I'm like, wait, this isn't this isn't just like Legos. This is, you know, there's some fun involved with this. And uh, so I just started watching uh, watching some more videos. And I don't remember how long it took before I finally bought the game after that. But uh, I was ready to go. I was <laughs> I was so into it by the time I actually bought the game. I was just addicted already. Um, well, it, I think if you said Sinanas, it should be around Alpha, isn't it? Um, well, no, I I I started watch or I saw his video when I bought it. It was beta one point six when oh, I started, okay. so it was really yeah. He was already practically done with the game by the time um, I started it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I was a late late starter. I had never heard of it before then. And yeah, how did you came up with the idea to make your videos or put videos on YouTube? Um, that was well, I I got my nephew into the game <laughs> <laughs> after after I was addicted. I had to spread it right, um, and I was, you know, I think one of the first ideas everybody sees when they see an arrow dispenser, they're like, I have to make this fast and automated and everything, <laughs> and and I didn't really know much about redstone at all at that time so i just started messing around putting redstone all over the place trying to link it up and loop it and everything and uh i accidentally kind of came up with a really cool design so um i'm like so i looked around everywhere and i didn't see any other videos with that design i'm like oh well i gotta put this out there this will be million views right and i'm like just you know i just want to put a video up of it um so anyway yeah that's how it, i decided to start my channel and um it just took off after that and have you been surprised about all the positive feedback for your videos yeah yeah actually quite a bit um i let's say i started it i don't know five or six months ago so um it i'm it doesn't seem like i don't know time flies but yeah um <laughs> yeah just it's it's snowballed recently and i get a lot of comments and i i think i think what helps get you know keep keep a good community is you know i try to reply to a lot of comments and all of that and just uh you know help people out when they have questions too because i know when i sent off some questions when i was just trying to learn um you know it's hard sitting around waiting for a response if you can't find the answer on your own and um you know it's good to uh good to help other people out when they're trying to learn too yeah that's right um, I think you already answered the next two questions. How did you start with redstone, and what was the first contra contraption you've built that used redstone? If it's uh, yeah, that's that pretty much answers it. The uh, that rapid fire fire arrow dispenser. Um, like I said, it was kind of an accident that I found the design that I ended up using, but <laughs> but it worked. So you know, and that's that's actually a lot of how you how or how I've figured out redstone is just you know you kind of have to mess around with it and see what works yeah. and see what doesn't. Learning by doing. Yeah. And how do you get all those crazy ideas for your designs, for example, your mob bowl? Uh, that one... That Well, I don't know if that was an accident either. I was testing out a mob spawner that was up in the air, and they were dropping off just into the ocean, and they were all swimming 
you know, all over the place. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why don't I just trap them somewhere so they fall into <laughs> a bowl? And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, this bowl is really cool. I'm going to start dropping TNT on it. <laughs> and that's what I did. My, my 250 subscriber special, that's what I was doing. I was just up there dropping TNT on it. And then it didn't really click till um, in my Let's Play series. I was just trying to figure out what else to put in the middle next to my mob spawner. And I'm like, well, why don't I build a little shoot off and put a little death bowl there? <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I did. So you... Yeah, most of those designs come by, not by accident, but by experimenting. Yeah, well, the I mean, I, I do try to come up with with crazy designs, I guess, or something that's original. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from, you know, like Lord of the Rings movies or Star Wars or even Disney type of movies. You know, just anything that, that uh, has imaginary things that may not exist in the real world. So I try to get a lot of inspiration from that. Do you use mods? Uh, in my in my first map, I do. I use fly mod, inventory, even MC edit. Um, my Let's Play series is all legit, um, which is tough. But I have a huge strip mine. I just dig and dig and dig, and you know, I have I make sure I have all the inventory ahead of time. I don't I don't waste the time <laughs> in the middle of uh, in the middle of building something. Luckily, so. Um, and then my my first world, I'm remo I'm moving all of that to a new jungle biome, um, and I'm using mods obviously for that because I'm yeah. transferring everything over. So, but I won't count this at as a <laughs> modification. Well, most luckily, most I mean, most of the first world I did build uh, legit until I got to the creeper temple thing. Um, that was when I started using MC edit and just cloning the pillars and everything. But, uh, so I'd say half of that was, was no mods. Okay. Um, do you like the additions of 1.8 and 1.9, such as food, new combat and magical stuff with potions and enchantments? Uh, yeah, I really, I really do like that stuff. Um, I've never played Warcraft or anything like that. So, that was kind of new to me, the whole crafting and, and, um, you know, magic stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I pretty much, I think it's pretty good. Um, do you like the end of Minecraft and the boss fight and the story after the boss fight? Yeah. If you beat the dragon. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I actually, I had it, I had everything prepped the day the update came out, <laughs> um, to go fight the dragon. Um, and I don't know. I, I never looked at it as like the end of the game. So I wasn't, you know, pleased or disappointed. I just I just thought of it as a new it was a new thing to do. You know, it was like going to the nether, uh, I was going to the end and fighting the dragon. Um so I I know a lot of people were disappointed with it, but you know Yeah, I think you're I, I never yeah, I never looked at it as the end of the game. I just figured, oh, I'll go back to my base and keep building after that. So, <laughs> I think you're the first person in our series who wasn't really disappointed by it. Um, <laughs> if you could add one thing to Minecraft, what would it be? Um, I don't know. There's been, there have been a few things that I think everybody wants at some point, like wireless redstone or something like that. Um you know, or some way to automatically load your chest so you don't have to do it manually. But I think, you know, stuff like that will never be added, you know, because they want, they want you to be active in the game, obviously. And I, and I understand that. Um, so I don't know. I just, I just like, uh, seeing what they keep trying to change to ruin our mob spawners and then <laughs> trying to fix them after that. So <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If you could remove one thing from the game, what would that be? Oh, squid. <laughs> oh, why squid? Uh, I don't like them. <laughs> no, I think, um, I don't know. I, they just bother me. They're really, uh, they're, they, they always try to uh, clog up your, I don't know. I had my, the first slime farm I made in my first world, I would always get squid in there. Oh, I was yeah. just like, oh, come on, get out of there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can you imagine something like Minecraft 2? Um, yeah, I could imagine it. I don't know if they'll do it or not. I think, I think what would happen, it was just it, that it, it would be, it would be a little less blocky. It would be more real. Um, I don't know how it would work. They'd have to 
automatically smooth the blocks together or something. But you know, if they really if they really uh, wanted to do it, I think they probably could. But we'll see. So the biggest change would be the optical stuff, not the gameplay. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea of sandbox is, you know, collecting materials, making things out of them, and, you know, just building things. Uh, I think I think the only thing they could, well, I don't know, I haven't really thought too deep about it, but, um, you know, whether they wanted to change the look of it or not, you know, it's, it's like having a texture pack versus default, you know, I, I couldn't imagine using the default texture pack, which I don't, um, so, I don't know. Do you play Minecraft on a mobile device? Um, I have, but I don't really, um, the controls are just a little too rough. You know, it's, uh, you have to really point, uh, where you want each yeah. block and everything. It's a lot easier with a mouse, I think. Do you already have a new update for Pocket Edition? I don't have, po uh, well, I have the, I have the light version, oh. so I, I didn't know there was a new Oh Pocket yeah, edition. if, uh, survival mode is introduced. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll have to you check it out. You should buy it. It's <laughs> maybe the, the most updates will come later, just like in the real Minecraft de development. Well, I'll definitely check it out. Do you own an Xbox 360? I don't. Ah, so I think I haven't found somebody who will or who is able to tell me how Minecraft will be on Xbox. I'm really excited <laughs> because screenshots look really cool. Um, yeah, I think I think the controls would be really rough. I mean, I I tried a I tried a first person shooter once <laughs> with <laughs> with an Xbox, and I'm like, oh man, I'll stick to the PC. I <laughs> I can't handle these controls. Um, if what do you do to keep yourself up to date? Uh, I just I watch a lot of videos. I I check the uh, you know Jeb Jeb and Notch's Twitters and um, you know. And a lot of the time, uh, people, you know, my subs message me like, did you see the new ocelots or something like that? And, you know, um, it's a, you know, Minecraft, obviously it's a huge, really tight community and uh, everybody, you know, always shares ideas and, and, uh, and talks a lot. So it's not too tough to keep up. Okay. Do you have any role models concerning Minecraft? Uh, well, I've had, I've had a few along the way as I was learning and I think it's kind of evolved more, um, now that I've kind of been playing the game for a while. Um, one of the really amazing, um, Redstoners is CNB Minecraft, which I, I'm pretty sure I think you had on your channel yeah, a while back, did. right? Yeah. Um, I mean the way, you know, he makes everything so tight and compact and, um, you know, He's it's a really nice guy. Just amazing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play other games in Minecraft? Uh, a few other games. Uh, I don't play them often. Minecraft, I think, is the number one. Um, like, I played Black Ops a little bit. I wasn't too too strong in that game. Uh, it was just kind of fun. Um, I, play, I play a lot of tower defense games. Um, like, Defense Grid on the PC is, is my favorite tower defense game. Uh, I play a lot of those more on the iPhone rather than, you know, PC, though. Yeah. But that's about it. And do you have any pro uh, projects or goals you want to achieve with your channel? Uh, well, right now I, I have two series going. Uh, my, my Let's Play series, like I said. Oh, and uh, then, I mean uh, future projects, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I, th I think I'll get a little bit further along with my current series before I try to think of a new... Uh, theme or a new plan like it you know I kind of evolved my first my first series was just build stuff wherever I wanted to the second one I planned out the big circle but I didn't plan anything to build in it and now uh, after that my next map who knows I'll just <laughs> I haven't thought of it yet <laughs> do you think there would be an end of the micro type and if yes when um I think I think it's going to last for a long time. I don't know if if the hype will end necessarily. Um, the The great thing about the game is that it's really never over. It's only over if your imagination stops working. Um, so you know, I guess if everybody's 
stops thinking of new things to build, then uh, maybe it would end. But uh, I, I don't know if that will happen anytime soon. If there will be another Minecon, Jeb said it will be in Europe. Do you want another Minecon? And if yes, where should it be? Or would you go to the one in Europe? <laughs> I I didn't go to the one in Vegas, um, unfortunately, which is fairly close to California where I'm at. Uh, so I would like another one here. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I don't know. I Maybe it'd, it'd be great. It'd be great to have another one. Um, I don't know if I could make it all the way over to Europe just for that, but uh, I don't know. Maybe with your YouTube see. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, possibly. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's that's it with our questions. And if you like the video, don't forget to check out Monkey Farm's channel. And his link is in the or not his link, the link to his channel is in the description down below. And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.